Hey guys, it's Brandy Janae. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel today. In today's video, I am going to be going over, I'm like gonna be wrapping up March. So let's go ahead and get started. So first, I just wanna give you guys a debt and savings update. As of right now, I started off March with 37,000 in debt, ended up with 35,000, blah, blah, blah. And so I paid off $1,740.29 of debt this month. So, hey, hey, hey. And then in my savings, my ally savings, which is the high yield sa savings account, I started off the month with 201.67. I'm ending it with $302, so that's excellent. And then for Digit, which is my other savings account, I started off the month with $740.60, and I'm ending with $917.80. Now, next month, this will be different because I am going to take the majority of the money out of Digit and put it into Ally so that it can be earning interest. But I had Digit before I even knew anything about Ally, so that's why there's still so much money in there. But I do plan on taking the majority of this out and putting it so you'll see these numbers kind of reversed <laughs> um, in April. So, I'm super duper 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 excited about that. Be sure to, um, you know, again, stick along with me for this journey. I am on a journey to become debt free and literally it's by doing the savings challenges, stuffing envelopes, adopting the cash system that has genuinely helped me become a little bit closer every single month to getting out of debt. Now, one of the debts, which is my car loan, which is my highest debt, I don't necessarily plan on paying off. Um, I mean, it'd be awesome. But again, it's not something that I necessarily plan on paying off. And even if I did pay it off, I'm probably going to have another car loan debt at some point. So that's one of those things like car loans, student loans, houses, mortgages, whatever. Like those are debts that I, you know, anticipate having and I'm not necessarily as concerned about. It's the regular like consumer debt that I want to make sure that I get eliminated as quickly as possible. So that is what I am currently working on. And again, I'm just doing that, you know, little by little, step by step. So, oh, <laughs> For April, if you've been watching any of my planner videos, then you know that I am going to be doing a no spend as far as sticker things and then like a low spend as far as everything else. So basically just sticking to the necessities and not just purchasing all of the things like I did in March. <laughs> Um, and I do do these extra challenges and it says skip the wait at the coffee shop and brew coffee at home Throw it in a super cute tumbler and hit the road. So I'm super 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 sad about that now. I don't I have planned on like Writing that I don't think I need to do that. I'm just gonna like Glue this in here. So one moment. I'm gonna grab some adhesive And this is the one that I was like <laughs> trying to avoid the most because if you know me, then you know I love my Starbucks. So basically for this one, because I do already have money in my like Starbucks account, I just won't add any additional funds. So if I run out of the money that's already on there in the month of April, then I really will just not have any more coffee. So, but I do have quite a bit of money already in my Starbucks rewards card because I did get some like gift cards and stuff for my birthday. So I'm using that, but I will not add any additional money and I will try to cut it down to just once a week for the month of April instead of twice a week like I normally do. I'm not happy about that. So anyway, that's like my motivation for the week. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway that's the monthly challenge i forgot to show you guys that in the last one so that is it with this book and just in case you are wondering this book is from aaron condren and it's the seven by nine monthly um and i do use the what's this pilot friction yeah the pilot friction pen because i like 
the erasable feature. I do get people that ask me about my pen and my books. So figured I would mention it. All right, so let's go ahead and see what we have remaining. Uh oh, I'm gonna like, I'm making a mess. Sorry guys, I have too much stuff on my desk. All right, hold on. All right, and I'm gonna sit back down. I'm not standing up to do this this time. All right, so in wrong envelope, let me wrong binder. In my birthday binder, I have 150-200. So at the end of the month, I do like to just kind of wrap it up and see what I have remaining, how much I've saved for the month total those things up just to kind of keep a monthly record and you will see that uh on my community page where i can show you like from month to month what i have been saving for the year and then obviously those numbers may not be reflected because if i had like medical expenses i obviously pulled that money out so it does fluctuate pretty frequently but i just want to kind of have a rough idea of like you know what i actually stuffed May not be what remained, but what I actually stuffed. So this right here though, will show me like what is actually in my envelopes right like today. So 100, 150, 170, 190, 210, 220, 225. So two, 25 in travel planners just has the 20. Christmas has 30. Clothes, I think it just has 20. Yep, 20 in clothes. Car maintenance, I need to add more because my tags are due. My registration is due in May, so. 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 10, 15. And then in giving, I have 15. All right. So we add all of those up. 200 plus 225 plus 20 plus 30 plus 20 plus 115 plus 15 means in this binder I have saved $625. So yay! All right. In my I guess long-term binder. Bills has 150, 170, and 190. And the bills envelope is eventually I would like to be a month ahead. So I'm just kind of adding to this for this year. And then next year I will add more. Debt is gone because obviously I use that to pay off some debt. Medical is 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 1, 10. And some of this is going to be coming out because I need to go and see my doctor. <sighs> Car has, oh, I also need to get some more like vitamins and things. So fun times. 20, 40, 50. One, two, three for the new car that I would like to get. And I'm just slowly saving up for a down payment on a new car. Brandy Janae, if you're new, this envelope will be used to either purchase new items for my Etsy shop or purchase uh, items I need for YouTube. And I collect the Bs, the Js, and the As. And if you're not familiar, the $1 bill and the $2 bills does have a circle here with a letter on it. So if it has a B, a J, or A, it does go in here. So.
and 59 so not as much in these envelopes as there are in the other ones but nevertheless let's see what we got so 190 plus 110 plus 53 plus 59 is 412 all right and then in the i already wrote the totals down for the other savings challenges as you can see here so i think that was an attempt to save some time in this video all right, so the $1 challenge has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, no. Oh, 24, 25, 26, 20, $27. And I know this is correct because I've already counted it. So this has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times two is no. So $58 in the $2 challenge. Fives, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, and 40. I really just don't feel like counting that out again, you guys. I promise this is here though. <laughs> I don't feel like counting all those that money. So 20, 30, 35, 40. <laughs> It's been a very long day. It is almost, is it nine o'clock? It's almost 9 p.m. and I'm just really ready to go to bed, but I wanted to get this video done so that it can go out this weekend. All right, so tens, I have 40. And these envelopes here get stuffed with rollover money. So whatever money I have left over in my wallet, if there is any money left over in my wallet, I do put that in these envelopes. And then in the 20s, we have $40. So I will put that here. And then the, I'll show you these other ones. All right, so in like, I guess like bonus money or bonus savings or whatever you want to call it. I did complete some other challenges. So here is the new phone challenge here. And 21 times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 is 189. So that's listed here for the mini savings Mm -mm. Which one is the mini savings? Oh, mini savings is the one I completed. That challenge was from uh, Lisa Grateful Me, but I did complete that one already. And that money went to, no. Oh, <laughs> never mind. The mini savings is my challenge. It's one of the boxes. Where did I just put it? So that's this one. I'm sorry. This is the one from my Etsy shop. So right now in this box, I have $220. Um, this is sold out right at the moment, but I'm still trying to see if I can do some restocks. So, but I did make an alternate version of this because that one sold out where you would get the same cards, but you have two different little containers. Um, so this is the alternative version that is available right now. But yeah, this one with the one um, box, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to bring this one back because I do actually like the one with the two boxes a little bit better. So we'll see. But anyway, so that one has $220. Hello Kitty. This challenge is the one that's from Lisa Grateful Me. And it should have $200. So that is correct. Shut the box in garbage. That's these two challenges here. And this is from Budget with a Teacher on Etsy. So it has one, 20, 40, 60, 80 here. 
And the goal for this one is going to be $300. And I will be using this to pay debt. The Hello Kitty one from Lisa Grateful Me is going to be used for travel. And then obviously the new phone one is available in my shop. That's gonna be, sorry, this one. The new phone one obviously available in my shop is gonna be for a new phone. I do plan on getting the iPhone 15 next year. So I'm just starting to save for that. And then the 500 at the Hive challenge is from two, two sister bees. And this is the one that I just recently purchased or just recently introduced. And so right now it has $60 in it. And I do plan on using this one. At first I was gonna use it for debt, but I'm not. Like I have this tote bag that I have been wanting for a very, very, very long time. I do also want to get a new tattoo and I also want to get a new nose ring. So this money here is going to be used for those things. So I've made the decision. I'm going to be using this for me <laughs> and a new tote bag and a new nose ring and then a tattoo so that's what this is going to be for and let's see how much this is oopsie oh and then of course i do have my um 50 envelope challenge but i do not add this up so i don't really know how much i've saved in here as of right now but i do i am doing this challenge as well if you are new here all right so let's see i have 27 plus 58 plus 40 plus 40 plus 40 189 220 200 180 145 and 60 is 1000 let's put it up here 1000 or not one hundred and ninety nine dollars so if i add up three these three totals one thousand one hundred ninety nine plus four hundred and twelve plus six hundred and twenty five is two thousand two hundred and thirty six dollars that i do currently have available in my cash envelope system so that is so exciting again this money is money that i have accumulated over the like months so from the end of december up until now this is money that i've accumulated over time this money fluctuates in and out depending on what i need it for um so in order to see what i actually saved just solely for the month of march be sure to go ahead and check out my community post because i will be posting that um before this video even comes out so <laughs> uh so make sure you go check out the community post so that you can see that because i'm super excited to share that number with you so that is it debt has been paid i'm excited about that savings has been saving <laughs> so i'm ex super excited about that i hope you guys are joining me for this financially free journey i would love for all of us to be debt free in 2023 or at least as let's say consumer debt free in 2023 regular debt it is what it is but if we could all be consumer debt free in 2023 that would be absolutely amazing so if you have any questions or you know anything like that don't forget to leave those in the comments below also if you have not already done so i would love it if you would subscribe to my channel so that you can be part of the brandy janae family that you can budget with us plan with us and just do all kinds of super duper fun things thank you guys so so much for watching and as always be safe be kind and i'll catch you in the next video